a trucker comes under fire on an interstate in Ohio. I've got the story right after this. Welcome to Pair Rider TV. Yes, let's go ahead and just get started and get into the story. This story is from Transportation Nation Network. So here we go. Enon, Ohio. An Ohio trucker was fortunate to escape unharmed after his truck came under a gunfire attack late last night on Interstate 70. 30-year trucking veteran Marcus Summers told Transportation Nation Network in his millions of over-the-road miles he's seen countless accidents on the roadways. It's always been somebody else's dad, uncle, mother, child, he said. However, late Monday night, it was him. Summers is a one-man truck operation who pulls a non-hazmat tanker and drives a 2001 Green Peterbilt 379. Nice truck. He was traveling westbound on I-70 near a mile marker of 47 around 11 p.m. going approximately 70 miles an hour when out of nowhere, he says, he heard a bunch of loud pops. The next thing he knew, his entire driver's side window had shattered and he was covered in glass. Unsure of what was going on, he said the first thing he did was reach for his gun. Thankfully, no additional shots were fired. He was able to safely pull off the road and call 911. When the dust settled, Summers was amazed to discover he had no injuries. That's a good deal. Not even a cut. Not even a cut from the glass flying through the cab. That's crazy. His truck, however, wasn't so lucky. While Summers, along with law enforcement, is unsure of how many shots were fired, Summers says in addition to the driver's side window, there are bullet holes in his windshield and on the side of the truck. A representative from the Ohio State Highway Patrol told TNN a preliminary investigation reveals the weapon could have possibly been a BB gun, no, I don't think so. They haven't ruled out a high-powered pellet gun. No, I don't think so. <clears throat> Summer says based on the damage, he believes the weapon appears to be a little bigger than a pellet or a BB gun. Yeah, I would say he's right about that. So far, he has counted seven bullet holes in his truck, not including the shattered window. He also theorizes there may be two different weapons involved based on the looks of the bullet holes. Reflecting on the situation, Summer says he and investigators aren't sure if the shots came from a passing vehicle or someone standing on a nearby overpass. Based on the damage, and the more he has replayed the events in his mind, Summers believes it was a passing vehicle. It happened while I was going under the overpass and the way the bullet holes are, it doesn't make sense. It would be from the overpass, he explained. Ohio State Highway Patrol told TNN it has no idea if Summers was targeted due to a semi-truck. I always fly the flag, Summers said, of the large American flag. He probably displays behind his rig. Maybe the flag upset them. As of publishing of this story, no one is in custody for the vandalism of Summer Struck. Additionally, OSHP is not actively searching for a suspect, though Summers is working closely with investigators to provide more information from the scene, including his dash cam footage. There you go. More than anything, Summers is glad to be alive. It happened so fast to think my wife and family could be making funeral arrangements today instead of me talking about it. He tells TNN he appreciated the genuine care and concern local law enforcement showed to him during the entire incident and praised OSHP's quick 
and swift action. Additionally, he gave praise to God as he repeated his mantra. Get your heart right with God, forgive your enemies, love hard, and live life. While he says he certainly forgives those who did this to him, I don't, I don't know what they have going on. They clearly have issues, and this is how they chose to deal with them. He says he will absolutely press charges if and when the suspects are identified. Definitely, definitely a crazy story. I've never been shot at in a truck where I had rocks thrown up from the highway, and man, that scares the crap out of you hitting that windshield, but that's nothing compared to a bullet, a bullet coming through your passenger side window or something. That's crazy, man, crazy. So go check out the full article. There's pictures and everything over there on Transportation Nation Network. They're on Facebook, Twitter, and I think it's transportationnationnetwork.com. I believe it's their website. So go check them out over there. You'll see all the, read a full article and see the pictures and everything. So if you want to see more videos like this, reporting trucking news, let me know down in the comment section. I would appreciate it. And if you like this video, be sure to check out all my other videos. I got a bunch of them. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. So everybody have a good day. Stay safe.